This is a standard piece of 16 ounce copper. Same weight that's used for copper roofing. Now if you'll notice it's copper color here and this piece is somewhat tarnished and I want to do some flame coloring. Bring out some reds, and blues, and greens in this material. So in order to do that, I wire brush it. So if you can see this side here, you know, the glare there, this side kind of matches up this side. It hasn't been wire brushed, but this side has been wire brushed. And that will give us the colors. And the quality of color that you get is very dependent upon how well brushed this is. We've got a piece of copper here that I've wire brushed. I'm using a small torch with a very small tip. When you're doing this, you need to anticipate the color that you're going to end up with. Because once you take the torch away, it will continue to color. Okay, you can see some of the colors that I got here. Now, to do the coloring, you can use this part of the flame here. For example, like right here. Or you can use this part of the flame right down here at the tip. Using it right down here at the tip gives you a little more control. What's good about this is that if you don't like the color that you get, you can go back, wire brush it again, and start all over. Now when I'm doing maple leaves, sometimes I'll have to wire brush a maple leaf three or four times before I get the actual color that I want. Okay, here's a butterfly. This is a little larger piece of copper. Again, using a very small torch and a small flame. What I would really like is to have these colors right here. These, that's the colors that I like the best. Now, once this is sprayed with a clear aerosol or a clear lacquer, these colors will diminish a little bit. Not much, but somewhat. You'll, you'll see a noticeable difference, which is why you want these to be as brilliant as they possibly can in the beginning stages. Now, on this butterfly, I would probably wire brush this again and get this soft green out and try to get some more of these purples up in here. 
and also up in here. Now with this butterfly, I wire brushed this part again and up in here and you can see I've got the colors that I want now. It's very colorful. To get the exact colors that you want is a trial and error process. Using different settings on your torch or different torch tips. I recommend using the smallest torch that you have and also the smallest tip. But just you can go way beyond what I've shown here. And practice is the key. Just trying different techniques until you come up with exactly what you want.